Right. And uh, this meeting would lead to a framework when it comes to fighting terror financing and also use of technology and striking a balance between the benefits of technology and technology for the use of terrorism. Shifting focus to Brazil now, where the widely talked about election for the final round of polling on the 30th of October. 156 million voters will decide the fate of two candidates with starkly different rhetoric. Why is this important for democratic values and climate change? Madhiha Mujavar and Radhika Udas give a quick snapshot of why this election is significant. Incumbent President Jair Bolsonaro and his left-wing challenger Lula da Silva are attempting to woo Brazil's poor to swing the polls in their favour. As inflation crosses 7%, the Central Bank of Brazil has raised interest rates to as high as 13.7%. The country's economic growth is expected to grow at a moderate 2.8%. Unemployment rate stands at 8.7%. While Lula has been promising to eradicate poverty, Bolsonaro government is providing temporary cash handouts to ease the pressure. Former army captain Bolsonaro won the 2018 presidential elections with his anti-corruption campaign that had brought down his rival Lula, who had ruled the country from 2003 to 2010 and enjoyed a 90% approval rating. Bolsonaro's campaign is a continuation of his conservative pro-business agenda. Bolsonaro has been criticized for the handling of the COVID pandemic by dismissing it as a little flu. He drew heavy criticism for allowing deforestation for the land exploitation in the Amazon rainforest, posing a climate threat to the world. On the other hand, Lula wants to put the state back at the heart of economic policy making and government spending, promising a new tax regime that will allow for higher public spending. Lula also promises to work to reduce carbon emissions and deforestation in the Amazon, which has increased by 75%. Lula won the first round of elections, securing 48.4% votes versus 43.2% for Bolsonaro. The country has seen widespread violence and clashes between supporters of the two candidates. With the race looking tight, Bolsonaro seems to have taken a cue from former US President Donald Trump. He has already made unsubstantiated allegations of electoral fraud. This has sparked fears among many that the results could plunge the country into chaos.